<laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. In glimpse <laughs> on the fucking pop filter of the microphone. I'm so excited. Well, I realized that one of the things that I've been doing is I'll have characters like Sophia just talk rather quietly, and everyone at the table can hear me. Mm -hmm. But during the recording, I'm like, what the frick is that woman monster saying? I got no idea. So I'm like, all right, if I'm going to have a quietly talking character, I need to have a microphone. And it is like my dream to have everyone have wired mics and then be like, ah, oh, it'd be perfect. But I'm like, those are expensive. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> and I don't know how to set that up. So in the future, eventually, but not right now. So uh, who wants to recap over what's been happening? Uh, I can try. It was a long session. Yeah. So first of all, we uh, got up. Sylvie woke up before anyone else. Oh, no, wait, before that started. Uh, oh, yep. We all went to our respective bedrooms. We decided to get two bedrooms and share because uh, we didn't want to be left alone. We did not decide. I decided. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and For a change, Rob agreed. Luigi rushed to the bed, and Rob <laughs> punched him in the face or lifted him up, something like that. And they ended up brawling in the room over from Sylvie and Cho until we eventually decided on a pillow wall <laughs> to keep us separate. So anyway, we all go to sleep. Sylvie wakes up before the rest of us, goes and sees Pietro's uh, first mate Navy man, and he's like, ah, I shouldn't say ha ha, but my captain's up here. Fuck it. So that happens. Pietro walks, yeah. or no, we all wake up. I still have it setting up on Sorry, I don't want to forget. So I was setting up. Uh, okay. Thank you. I knew he'd be mad. I would be. I appreciate I this. <laughs> <laughs> so we all wake up. Uh, we all see Pietro uh, storm out, and he's mad. He punches Sorry. the dude in the face. And then I'm like, I want to talk to Pietro. And Colin's like, are you sure? He seems really mad. I'm like, yes. So then I go talk to him. I'm like, hey, Pietro, what's your deal? And he's like, I just want this to work. And I'm like, okay. And then Ross is like, I'm going to go talk to Pietro. And then we're just collectively like, no, you are not going to talk to Pietro. I still should have talked to Pietro. You should no, you not have. No. You, no. <laughs> that is false. So we go over to the Church of Sarai. Luigi is like, hey, do you have any literature on Samson? And the guy was like, no. And Luigi thought to himself, idiot. And then he left. Didn't say it out loud, though, because... Uh, Saying stuff out loud has not done him too well in the opinion so far. That's fair. Uh, Cho sacrificed the octopus. No. What? She didn't sacrifice the Cho octopus. Cho murdered the octopus. The octopus Whoa. is still alive in the fucking bowl? That's so, not anyway, that. after Cho sacrificed the octopus, uh, someone was following us. History. So, <laughs> Sylvie went over and spoke to them. It was another bounty hunter. Refishness history? What's up? Refishness history? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is good. And this bounty hunter dude that Sylvie seems to know pulled out some bounties. Uh, twelve fifty for Cho, seven fifty for Sylvie, seven fifty for Luigi. And for the love of God, for some godforsaken reason, there was no bounty on the most dangerous party member of us, Ra, well, who needs I, to be killed. No. I, Samson. The most dangerous is up for debate. The most erratic. <laughs> I'll give it to Ron. That's well, the one, like, if I was in a room with each of these characters, I would feel in the most danger if I was with Ron. Yeah. Because yeah. Exactly Who would you feel the safest you. with? Cho. Uh, Cho. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. I wanted That's to make fair. sure we were on the same page. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, mm. The one character that is peace-loving and does not want to kill. Are what we, a tree are we, basically, <laughs> are we assuming that we oh know God. the person? Like, are we no Cho? Because Cho looks Look. monstrous. <laughs> you, you would think that you're going to get killed and, like, so sworn as... the person who funny. looks the safest <laughs> might be Sylvie. The person who is the safest is Cho. I feel like Luigi is pretty safe. No. You're a devil person. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't look it, but he, You look like a Uno devil person. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. So, there's like, bounties on... Sylvie what hates gnolls, and you're just, like, the nicest person and the nicest gnoll ever, and then Sylvie's, like, a piece of shit. She's <laughs> <laughs> normal looking and, like, safest looking, but, like, would not care. You like, lure him in with the kindness, I keep him with the kindness. Like, would spit on and somebody if they And then these two just better. stomp on anyone that happens to be... Unkind but also has to be spit on. 
So Rogers likes death and destruction. I think we have established this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two sushi options. Oh yeah, before we went to the church, we went to the sushi shop and they were like, We have death and destruction. We did. And we were like, uh death, I guess. And then they put a fish on the table, chopped its head off, and we're like, sushi. And I was like, alright, what's destruction? And then they tossed a bowl of piranhas at Luigi. So then we constantly went to the sushi shop. <laughs> <laughs> Having taken three points of piercing damage, thank you, Ra. So, anyway, fast forward. Good. You thought that was sushi? <laughs> Do you wonder why? So, what did you mean by Kraken sushi, by the way? Because it clearly was not what I thought it was. Okay. He just shrugged. Yeah. So, uh, we have bounties. Sylvia's like, I'll handle it. Don't worry. Um, oh, the bounties were out by Natali. That's important. And then Sylvie comes back to us. Again? And then Ra gets approached uh, by a hill giant. Sword and I have a bow. What kind of sword? And it was oh, the I same hill giant that, that had <laughs> approached us at the that we fought at the bar. Did I and it on my then Ra page? runs away from him and tosses Luigi in front of the hill giant. And Luigi's like, hey man, I got vodka for you. It just I really didn't mean anything by last night. And then Colin was like, ooh, that's a good idea. Roll with advantage. And then I rolled like a two both times. And he let out a big sign and said, I'll take it off your corpse. <laughs> yeah, so, so we paid off the hill giant to leave us alone. And then we... I forgot she <laughs> certainly did. We we a lot of money for this party. Specifically Sylvie saving, like, you, I know! Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just acknowledging the reality that, that Sylvie lives in, and how unfortunate okay. it is. Ra was not okay. <laughs> Ra is never okay. Speaking of Ra, we went over to the mother load because it's been a hot minute since we've seen Brenda, and we should report him. And we were like, eh, maybe last night the events are better left unsaid. Don't question us too much. It's probably in everyone's best interest. And Brenda was like, you know what? I respect that. That is perfectly fair if you really... You don't want to talk, and I want to listen. And then Ra was like, are we not going to tell her about how we killed Connor? And then she was like, oh, okay, you killed Connor. And we're like, yeah. So we explained the situation. We were like, hey, Sophia wants to uh, rule this place. What do you think? And Grenda was like, ah, yes, I, I like working under her. Eyes emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we all yeah, left to <laughs> we all left to the rose's neck. And met with Sophia and Grenda together, which they seemed to be all on board, working together. Except Grenda was like, "Look, we're not doing this with slavery. If we're going to make New Pinion a country, no slavery. But we have to invite the Brotherhood of Steel in here because they make the economy go." The steel excess, but okay. They have to save the Commonwealth. They do. <laughs> the, the Brotherhood of Steel needs to no. save the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth <laughs> is New Pinion. The undead are the ghouls. <laughs> Shut the Commodium Empire of the Institute. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? That for? makes so much more sense to me. <laughs> no, be like, did you? Read I'm glad this that story this helps up? you make sense, but I need you to know that I am not that into Fallout. <laughs> so, I think Fallout is cool, but you it's mean not my vibe. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's why you would get punched every <laughs> case session. <laughs> <laughs> How could I forget? While we were on Grenda's ship, Grenda was like, that's a fake creature, and pointed at Ra. And then, in a language that Ra does not speak. So then Ra was like, you think I'm a fake creature. Yeah. Which uh, was confirmed to not be the case, because Ra held iron and did not die. And Grenda was like, you're reading my mind? And he was like, yes! <laughs> and then Grenda, Grenda's heart grew ten <laughs> times in size that day, and so did her muscles and her axe. And then she killed Ra. I didn't die. And was ready to <laughs> sacrifice him. Did not die. To improve the morale of her men, which honestly, oh, no. I think okay. would have been a great idea. Luigi thought it was a great idea. Luigi went to help Bembe get like, the rock. Like <laughs> sacrifice Ra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sylvie seemed cool. fine with that. Cho was like, can we not kill him? Okay. And then Grenda was like, oh, fine, but get him out of my sight. I never like... want to see him again. On sight if I see him again. Or like, oh, she's gonna be All right, fast forward back like to the Rose's neck, like, Brotherhood yeah. of Steel. Okay. Uh, Sophia said that she also had Pietro on her That's side. Cool. That uh, Pietro was in. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Pietro so was under her. Okay. So. <laughs> um, 
Uh, during that meeting, they also discussed, all right, this is how we're going to kill Natalie. You guys are going to kill Natalie, gesturing broadly to the party. And Luigi was like, do we really, like, have to kill him? What if we can get him to leave? And Sophia was like, I don't think you're going to be able to, but if you can get him to leave, uh, sure, I guess you can do that. And I don't think I missed anything else. Not that I can think of. I think you did pretty good, honestly, and I think you definitely earned your inspiration, and I'm sorry that it's not going to be helpful. Because that's yeah. how the inspiration yeah. works, it's specifically it's with you, but also in general. Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> it's really it's really I'm past All two. I'm past two. Like, I don't think there's ever one time where you rolled, and then it was like, I'm going to use an ability to have me re-roll this, and then you got better okay. results yeah. that helped. That is really no. I yeah. don't think so. Yeah, that sucks. Last dagger. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But, uh, party, where are you guys? Because right. you guys are, are you in the Rose Neck Hotel? Oh, okay. It's still outside the hotel. Could you say those words to me one more time? Yeah. Uh, so as you guys, I'm dropping you guys back into the game that we've done the recap, and uh, you've looked at your Pinterest enough. Um, <laughs> it's fine. You can look at Pinterest, you know. Just get to know what's going on. Um, so you guys are still at the Rose Neck Hotel. It's been a bit of time, I believe. Sylvie's upstairs with Blork. I don't know where Cho is. I don't know where Luigi is, and Ra is at one down. HP, and he's like, "I'm gonna take on this whole city myself." So, do what are you? What is Ra doing? Let's handle Ra. I'm right probably now. return back in okay. his okay. room. Okay, cool. Uh, rest Walks of the party, what are you scared. guys doing? Um, does Ra have any armor on him? Yes. <laughs> That's there he is armor. I am going to go to Ra and go take sword. his armor off. He's, 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 he's conscious. conscious. Oh, he's conscious? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to fight you. Oh, okay. Hey, Ra! Yeah. <laughs> I approach you in my bedroom. I take your armor off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is Luigi going to do that? This is something? really like enemies to lovers hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> really is. <laughs> I love the vibe, guys. <laughs> Look, uh, you know uh, that dwarf Captain Grenda, Commodore, the only reason that you didn't get sacrificed, which, believe me, I wanted her to sacrifice you, is because Cho stopped her. Are you talking to Rai right now? Yeah. Rai is going to just ignore you. <laughs> what a fucking fool. No, <laughs> knowing that you're ignoring him, Luigi is going to say, so go thank her and get out of my sight. He's still going to continue ignoring you. He's just in his room chilling. He's not going to pay any it's attention. Actually, he's kind of swaying a little bit. He's, you're, you're a little uh, 1 HP looking. <laughs> yeah. What, you, you look like a cat could come along and kill you. Like <laughs> a house cat. Kill <laughs> <laughs> you. No, you don't know. So what are you going to do? So he's I'm going to rest mm -hmm. once uh, Luigi leaves, if he leaves. He's going to wait till he leaves. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to leave and go to their room. Knock okay. on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Sylvie probably has, like, dwarf under her arm and, like, just opens the door and she's like, oh, up. So I was thinking about that one. Points to Blork. Uh, Sophia probably has someone who can train animals here. We're gonna be out for the day. What do you think of just leaving him here to be trained for a bit? Yeah, that could be good. Alright, so what? We can go ask around about that. Yeah, that oh, should be good. I'd also like to go back <clears throat> to the market today and uh, pick up some literature and go see that dwarf blacksmith. Uh, if you guys would care to join. I will go into next stop to library, so this works out good. Uh, or yeah. try to find library. There must be a library. Yes. Probably. Def common import, the library, collection of knowledge, something. Uh, we the, could love. These uh, godless must, people here, uh, I don't know about that. There must be a history of this place. We can try. Considering that mountain change, there must be a record of what happened after mountain change and beforehand. We can look. And change and maybe stuff about embraced. How the reasoning was sealed in tomb. Yeah, we, 
we can take a look. Lots of stuff to be uh, gained from looking, unless they are as savage as they appear in this land. And you they are. Don't have this is. So why is it now suddenly the superiority of everyone? I know that you thought you were better than those combatants, but now it is savages of land beyond. What did, what, what, what happened? Have, have you seen this place? Yes, and there are people that definitely could use some uh, culture ship, but I don't think talking down about them is the way to do it. Ah, you see, the thing about it is those who could use a culture ship, as you say, are the ones who appear to be in power here. The, the, the common man of this place, uh, had no issue with them, but those in power made this land what it is. If you look outside, you see slaves. So the government is problem, not yes. savage people that live in this land. It is <sighs> people in control of that, and you calling everyone savage people is wrong by your own standards. Just to make clear. <laughs> Let's just go downstairs. <laughs> I don't. What know. is is Ra conscious? I don't care. I hope he's dead. Okay. He's resting right now. So well, if he's rest resting, over? he's resting in silence. For now. <laughs> yeah, For now. let's uh, take those swords with us, because we can't have him getting a hold of those. You know he will just find... I'm, I'm not saying don't take weapons away from men that seem to get into too many fights, but I am saying that he will find different weapons. I'm almost, like, concerned that he'll steal weapons, and I would rather just give him his own back. That... Let because him steal weapons. No, 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 no. He is associated with us, unfortunately. For now, we are responsible for him. Okay, so then what's your plan? You could tie him to bed. <laughs> <laughs> he will wake up. <laughs> okay, you, yeah. could, you could wake him up and talk to him and be like, why don't do it? I take your armor off. <laughs> 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 you, you could leave him dagger. Is is uh, least not damaging weapon? Leaving him anything. I could leave him single arrowhead. Could say just throw it at person, and he might. I was scared he'd accidentally hit himself. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we like cuff him? <laughs> Oh, of course, <laughs> Luis is talking about coffee. I I don't have way to do it, but I, I uh, it's what we do if someone violent in clinic. Yeah, that's fine. You have rope. Is the right? short rest over I, I by now? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, why, you can go tie him up if you uh, want. You are very daring to think I can tie him up and you okay. will stay there. I, I can do it. I think with the power of Samson, you could do it. Okay, <laughs> alright. Uh, one <laughs> rod give me the rope up if he, uh, he's turned. Yes, it is. And she'll like tear over to the corner where she's Just, just to be clear, you're there. not only splitting the party, you're like making sure that one person <laughs> can't come <laughs> and, and, and you guys have bounties. Just, I want to be clear that this is what you guys are doing. Yes. All right. <laughs> you also don't have to keep Raw alive. You can go if you want. Like, if you think your characters would kill him, he has hit points. <laughs> He's what? So it's unfortunately not going to let that happen. So All right, I'll, I'm I'll just letting that know. rope. Uh, she offers the rope, but she will, like, kind of hesitantly do it and kind of go, this is not going to I, maybe just realistically, how easy is he gonna find us if we're not in the area but when also, he wakes up? Like, maybe he was unwell in head. Maybe he needs if was. He was yes. unwell in head. Then he's still unwell in his head. Maybe we can. Vermus, is there is there a sick house is common here? No Places opinion. where the infirm go. No. Or what? Places where the permanently no. un. Maybe well. like. Never mind. I'm not saying <laughs> no, it's that. Just the blast. <laughs> no, not slavery. And they're on a go. No, no. Idiots. No. Okay. Uh, maybe that is something I need to talk to church about. Yeah, cause that'll go well. Well. Let's just like do what we gotta do. And Albert has passed. <laughs> no, it is not. Oh, yeah. Ten uh, minutes. That's how long the conversation took. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> put my. I got time right here. Again, uh, gesturing for you to give me the rope. Dude's gonna find some way to find us anyway. We might as well just let him. I don't like that. I don't want him to find us. You could leave letter saying, "Hey, don't find us. Goodbye." I don't think he can read. He can stab them. You're can, in the other room. We can let an opener and letter, and that will be his way to uh, to entertain himself while we are. Like a sharp letter opener. Oh. It is far less dangerous than sword. Yes. I don't think you should have either. Well, I don't know. 
I'm not used to. I'm used to the mentally and, and physically unwell being taken care of by like trained people. I'm not used to them having swords and, well, and running after people. At this point, how am I wasting my worries? Yeah, if you He's gonna find us regardless. It's not really gonna matter. If you're not gonna give me the rope to tie him up, I'm sure Sophia has handcuffs lying around. I'll just go ask oh, someone. What? <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. You're in a pirate town. They have rope. There is literally rope everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna you can go find downstairs. Rope. Yeah, you and, let me uh, know when you find a rope. Okay. Who do I see down there? Still like I'm this. I'm gonna get things moving a little bit further. You see pirates. You see Grenda. You see Sophia. They seem to be talking. They seem to be uh, discussing things of business and state. Um, and you see other people around here. You see Brink down here, who's also seeming to be enjoying themselves. Um, and they're just kind of like milling about, and you see that like they're like they're fraternizing essentially. Mm. Like um, the, the, the different crews are just like kind of talking and like discussing things, and how they seem to be having like uh, they're discussing things like jewelry and whatnot. Uh, and it seems that like Brenda's crew has like more money, but Sophia's crew has more taste. Mm. So it's like, hmm, what do you do with that? What do you mean by that? I'm part of Brenda's crew. You're part of both crews. I'm gonna go to. We passed around between Grenda and Sophia. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Probably very what good. What a lovely sandwich. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and occasionally it's Pietro. <laughs> oh, he's my ham. What? What? I'm gonna ask Frank for some rope. Uh, the. You know that other one that was with us, Ra? Yeah. Uh,. We don't really want to just leave him here free because he came, he left and came back. He's uh. Are you planning on selling him? No, I don't want to sell him. I just. We could. No. No. No, no we couldn't. I don't want to sell him. I'm very much against slavery. Yeah, me too. Okay. However, we don't want him coming for all of us. Exception. Do you want him to die? We could make that happen. I wouldn't be opposed to that, but our my friend Cho does not want that. So I think for the the solution that everyone is okay with is to just at least lock him up, tie him up here. Or if you have a Brink comes that's close fine. to you. It's like, do you want there to be an accident? What, what do you think? What do you need here? Do you have a prison? No, we don't have a prison. Yeah. <laughs> I'd feel bad going behind Cho's back about it. I just need him to not follow us. If you, if there was an accident, I wouldn't be too upset about it, but that is not exactly what I'm asking of you. I just need him to not follow us. Alright, I got some rope. Um, Greg turns return back in a bit with uh, some silken rope. All right. Silken rope? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah what's in a blindfold, too? <laughs> oh, is it that? It is that, actually. Luigi. Oh, hey, Sylvia. I can see you there. Yeah. Uh, in which case, I won't. I, won't, I don't it, feel like I should be between you two. Just. And that. Brick leaves. You it's have not, the rope, Brick leaves. It's not that Sylvia thinks she has a sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't care about you two. I think it's you, fine. you have made him more uncomfortable <laughs> than <laughs> you intended. To. I'm going to go upstairs and with the silken rope. With the silken <laughs> rope. Pretty gay, guys. <laughs> Luigi, I'm sorry. Luigi, I'm sorry. It's a little, gay. Gay. <laughs> it comes it's a little gay. gay. It's a lot gay. We can be honest. <laughs> Tie up Rob. <laughs> He's conscious. No. Oh, so. Yeah, I'm just, conscious, gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna say no. I don't care. I'm gonna keep. He doesn't doing. consent. Okay, like. He's going to resist. What do you. What do you like, are we getting you have rope. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him in the face. If he resists. I guess we're rolling for <laughs> initiative. Okay. So who goes first? Uh, roll. You guys roll opposing dexterity checks. Do it first. Uh, seven. <laughs> Luigi goes first. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna punch you. Uh, that is a thirteen. I'm a fifteen over the last. Uh, you you swing once and miss. You got a bonus action and movement. Um, I think that's it. Can this is my bonus action to punch him again. No, you can't. I believe they're both. 
No, I don't think so. Um. I don't know what else I could even All do right. with my bonus action. I'm gonna slap him. <laughs> I allowed that to happen to, to, to Bruce, and I don't think that's, that's like another attack. Like, you can't slap him. Yeah. All right, so what does Ra do? He's just gonna push Luigi out of the room. Okay, make athletics check, opposed. You guys both make athletics checks. 11 plus uh, dexterity, right? No. Oh, athletics, athletics. right, plus three, 11. so 14. Uh, you get shoved towards the door. All it's right, now I'm, your turn again. I'm gonna try to punch him again. Go for it. Um, 11. You I'm have inspiration if you want it. I'm going to do the inspiration. Inspiration? <laughs> it's early? What? That's a lot. I say you swing again. Ra pushes you out and closes the door. That's the end of the combat. <laughs> there goes the inspiration. Do we just yeah. hear, like, a door slam? That one. Yeah. We, we just hear a fucking door slam. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> get up and like peek your head out and like look right. down the hallway. So team not Ra, what are you guys doing now? <laughs> what what happened to what? And what happened to the robe? Did you leave are it you in the robe? Are you just carrying the robe around? <laughs> yeah like uh, I'll put it, it in my pocket. I'll like toilet. Wait, hang on. Did you drop it it's during that fight? Were you fist fighting with the rope in your hand? It's like 50 feet of rope. You don't like it's like wrap around your body. You could like 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 <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back to Brink. Alright. <laughs> Uh, Brink is down in the spa. Per usual. Yeah. I could put this back for you if you want. He, uh, pushed me out of the room. Yeah, there's a closet nearby. And it's like, it's like nice down here. It's like, there's like hot water. Brink is once again getting her head massaged. It's just like, she's been working the past few days. She's been doing stuff. She's taking a break. Is she getting her head massaged again? Yeah. Is what? Sophia around? Uh, yeah, Sophia is talking to her friend. Okay, so they're not the same person. Yeah, you saw them both the same person. They were room. together. Oh, I already, saw them the I already same thought about it. Yeah. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not the same person. Okay. Um, well, thank you, you for the rope. Uh, I would, <laughs> I'd watch out for the idiot upstairs. Who no, pushed you out of the room? Which idiot? I mean, now we know if we need to uh, like, assassinate someone and have someone take the fall, just let that one do it. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> just Is Cho like, gonna be okay with us assassinating Natalia? Uh, probably not. <coughs> so that's why we're aiming to uh, kind of get him out. But if worse comes to worse, then that's has to, what has to be done. Yeah, I'll be honest. I've been looking around, around that portion a little bit, doing a little bit of spy work the past few days. I don't see him letting it go. Well, maybe you're right. But if the choice is between death and being exiled, I would hope he would make the decision in his self-interest. Yeah. He's angrier than he is. He's scared. So, hmm. good luck. All right, well, I'll leave. I'll go back upstairs. Knock on your door. Top floor. <laughs> you guys want to see if there's a. Uh, Animal trainers, and then we can go. Yeah. That works. You looking around for an animal trainer in uh, Sophia's crew? Yeah. Make a perception check. Or maybe, what are you looking? Up? I'm going to zoom through this a little bit. What, what do you want to roll for this? Just uh, persuasion? What are, you, what are you trying to figure out? Insight? To figure out who's good at animals? Um. What yeah, perception would probably be best. Go perception. Ooh. So you spend some time, I imagine, like you like you interact with like the other pirates here. You're like, hey, what's up? And uh, you find that there is a pirate uh, who likes animals on Sophia's crew. Uh, her name is Tats. Tats, like T A T S. T A T S. Tats. Uh, and you uh, able to figure her who she is out pretty easily. A the halfling with a full body tattoo hmm. over her. Um, I just, we've only got so much time today. 
So you leave her off with uh, Tats. Tats knows what she's doing. Goes, oh, you're so ugly. I love you. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, ugh. We'll bathe this one. Okay. We want him to learn how to fight, please. Um. Or at least, like, some oh, sort that's, of... Oh, that's going to have to be a bond between you and the animal. That's not going to... That's not going to work <coughs> if I just do it. Maybe teach them the basics of being things. Sit, stay. Yeah, but then you'd learn it from me, don't you? Want like, I can have them. Mm. I'll take them off your hands. I could always teach them. I don't do much when you all are... I love putting a small creature to not be awful. Are you okay teaching him how to fight? Like, are you okay with Fight? No, but I could ask him to take things away from people. He could just take weaponry. I want him to fight. I want to get him a tiny little armor. You see these little chompers. Well, I need to on his training him. Barbs. Well, he looks at his head. Doesn't seem to be all that there. No. Probably do based upon food. That's what That's I was for. thinking. Um, uh, there's also just like a, you gotta have a bond with him. How long have you had him? 14 hours. Oh. 18 tops. You've got to spend more time with him. Yeah. Do you want to take him? Yeah, I'll take him. All right. No, you need a better shit to know what he needs to be bathed with. I tried some soap and water, but it didn't... Uh... Soap and water should work. Okay, maybe I need different soap. Maybe you did not have soap previously. You had a dirty bucket of ah, water. That was... Because that was <laughs> you kept that. washing your hands in the dirty water of New Pinions, and your hands weren't getting any cleaner. Oh, this fucking no. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. I'll put him in my bag. Okay. We'll carry him. Yeah. Put him in your know. bag. Sylvia like steals like a piece of fruit like off of like one of the side tables in yeah. the lobby of the hotel and just like right into the bag. He eats the entire apple. As he should. Yeah. He's a grown boy. Yep. Oh, also uh, I want to talk to Grenda before we're out of here. I think that's best. Uh, we go talk to Grenda. Walk up to her. Uh, Grenda and Sophia are sitting at the bar. They are enjoying themselves. Sophia is like drinking something like smaller, and Grenda's got like, ah, oh, take it. <laughs> oh, the queen. Ah, uh, oh, Luigi. Ah, Commodore. So, we're thinking what? about uh, how we might offer Natalie a path off this island, which I know is not exactly what you wanted to do, but terribly think- against Island. Have that much of a hatred for the man, I just don't really like him. Um, basically, you're you're the person on this island that, at least to my knowledge, has more access to ships and cargo than anyone. Would you be able to arrange that if he's willing? Right, if he's willing, and you can just talk to anyone who's setting out. Do you trust anyone? Ships are no, but I don't particularly care about the package, so it doesn't matter. No, not not to take care of him, to um, make sure he doesn't come back. Oh, well, that's... Are you selling him? No, no, just make sure... How are you going to make sure he doesn't come back? Just maybe someone will lock him up for the duration of the ride. Why not just send him place if he wants to go? Why don't we no, just put no. him into slavery? No, we're not putting him into slavery. That would be the easiest way to, the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay someone to try and bury him, and he still might end up getting his old anyways. I bet we could mix him in with the next pack out. As slaves? I'm, I'm not for the no. slavery, personally. What about, uh, what about the money from his account? Uh, you were talking about seizing that. Will that money be able to pay a merchant to sail him off this island? Oh, I want that money for an opinion. Doesn't have to be much. Like, how much gold do you think it would take a merchant if, to do that? Truth be told, we'll probably pay you a little bit for this if you're willing to take a cut of your pay to get rid of him. That's fine. I am not. I am. You can take it from my share. All right, we can. We can be how much do uh, you think that would cost to get a merchant out mm. or get a ship out? How far you want him to go? Uh, how far can he go? <coughs> you taking him to Colexo? Uh, that might run you upwards of a few hundred gold. You taking him to just the next aisle over and dumping him? Yeah. Ten. Uh, 
How much is a few hundred? Four? One hundred. Um, you also want to die over there. Considering it's Calexo. What might die Calexo. You know what? Uh, that's Calexo. Let's just drop in the next island over. Yeah. You can arrange that if you want. I'm not getting close with Another! Um. <laughs> Alright, oh, well, that, that's right. that. Thank you, Brenda. At this point, I will say that as you guys are walking around and doing other things and stuff, and I imagine you're also taking care of other minute things, an hour has passed if you'd like to roll your head dice. Yes, I would. I'm just doing a d10, right? Uh, as many d10s as you would like to get back your helps. I imagine you're going to probably want to use all four. Uh, yeah, why not? Go for so, it. Do you want me to do both? Sorry. So I just roll it four times? So yeah. Goes? All right. Plus, five plus... One plus three plus six. So what was that? Six, five, fifteen. Five, fifteen. Five, one, three, six. Fifteen. And then you add your constitution modifier to each dice. So that will be another eight. So fifteen plus eight, is that what we're going with? Twenty-three, so your total is tw- twenty-four, 24 each yeah. Not following them yet, just looking around because yeah. I don't know where we are going, right? Well, I, Rob wouldn't know where you guys are yet. Okay. All right. So you're going separately? No, I'm going to ask around to whoever I can if they've the seen. The party hasn't like, left the. We haven't even left the hotel yet. yet. Oh, so I'm just going to walk over. Yeah, okay. Or maybe Rob comes up to you guys. Side of the market. Hi. I'm. Um, what do you want? <laughs> he ignores <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> okay. Die? What happened? Ooh, more specific? I don't remember anything after the ship. You got too drunk. Yeah, when you were uh, drinking, you told that lady Stop over there. Stop talking about inferior creatures. Point to Grenda. You told that lady over there He's about how you can read her mind, and she was really easy. interested in it. So is actually you tried, doing like, the whole robot thing in here. You tried too. to outdrink my captain. And he passed out. That adds up. He's gonna accept it, and then yep, everything yep. is good in this All life. Right. Where All are right. my swords? You just left them somewhere. Can I do a check to see if she has it? If I, I don't have the money. You can make an insight check against okay. her deception. Okay. I will. So do you'd that. have to roll insight, and then Sylvia would roll deception. All right. How does Ra have plus twelve on his wisdom? Eighteen. All right. You left it somewhere, dude, apparently. All right. Faulty memory. Maybe you got too drunk. I'll also do an inside check for the dagger. You have a dagger. Well, it's I have it. it. It's on you, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We just have, like, you just left your bigger sword. swords. Yeah. All right. I will look around for it. Yeah, I think it'd be best. So... I have a question. Do you guys want to roleplay out whatever you guys are going to be doing here? Also, you guys plan a certain amount of time, and some of these things might be like downtime activities. I know that you guys said that you guys wanted books, but I will say that like you guys are going around at, to like the market and stuff, trying mm-hmm. to find things. Yeah. Because uh, just gonna for the sake of time, we don't have a ton. Um, you're trying to find a book on Samson. Yes. You find out that there are there is a library in New Pinion, but it's a private collection. Oh. Hmm. I wonder who backs it. Could it be named Rosalind? It's Natalie. I'm gonna. Rye's gonna look oh, over at Joe. Not him ask. being a liar and a bookworm. Mm. Fucking loser. <laughs> Rye's gonna ask Joe while all this is happening what his next plan Right now we are in uh, a bit of an in between trying to figure that out. We're trying to remove Natalie from office. That is correct. Uh, we kill we kill the alley? We could just steal his key collection to the books. I think that's very noble. Or we don't kill the tally and we find another way. To when do we it. somehow but no longer have him around us, whether permanent or just like not in our physical area, we should when just When he's do gone. When he is gone. That is correct. But kill the tally. I think easy. that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> easy kill the tally. Kill the tally bad. Kill the tally not good. 
You kill Natalie bad for soul. Wrong. We'll give him the chance, but if he does not want to so death you. and destruction good, I know. I know that you... I'm, I'm currently processing what he is saying on top of what you say. What did you say? Death, death and, and dis- destruction good. The piranha was good. It's his catchphrase. I don't think any of our souls are worth saving. They are. Speak for yourself. No, we are all doomed. No, they, every soul is worth trying to save. Every soul can be saved, even in the last moment. Do I have souls? If any soul could be saved... Never mind. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> say it. I'm not gonna say do it. it. Oh, say you it. should say it. I think we should keep this. I think what? I think she was. She's in character, by the way. Connor. What are you going to say? I, Connor I will not could have also him. been saved, but he wasn't. I think that's what she's putting Connor? down. Connor, there are people that are cruel enough that they do not run out of their ways. They, if someone commits himself to one cause and they never give it up, it, so hypothetically, mm-hmm. if my one cause is that I don't believe that our souls are worth saving for, then how is every soul? Because though you have this belief, if you, that belief ever changes, that does not remove your soul or give it back, you always have soul. This does not mean that it was ever gone Do the forever. undead have soul? One more time? Do the undead have soul? I don't know yet. That is part of the problem for me. Because if they are so full people, back and body, that's horrific. They are ripped out of heaven, out of where they should be. Will but if they are so less, then it is egregious in different ways. Will your, your alignment to peace get in the way of killing the unborn? I don't know yet. But I also would ask you, is your alignment to whatever you believe? Death and destruction. <laughs> Impeding us in normal day-to-day life. Our goal is to kill the undead army. And don't say our. So, partially... I'm gonna keep ignoring Luigi. So, like okay. There is no we. I don't know why you're still with us. <laughs> <laughs> so many things to unpack. Firstly, though, you do need to acknowledge that he exists. You are We, we are working together. This is I, not going to work. I understand he exists. I just really you wish are he fine. wasn't here. I'm, why do you, Luigi says that. That's, that's the things that Luigi says. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you cannot just ignore Luigi. Tempting as it could be. But. He tried to have... Weird relations with me with <laughs> rope. What? In what? the room, what? I was trying to sleep, what? and he what? tried to tie what? me up. You what? The silken rope. You what? He tried to tie me up with the silken rope, and I had to oh, push him out of the room. Oh, that just got me inappropriate relationship. How I would. You're know. so young. How I'm how would Ron know no. that yeah. wasn't what it was? Joe has it right. You You're know so that. You're so young. Do you okay. know that? What do you mean? I understand he might not know the difference. You're you like mean? 500 years old. You know perfectly. Are you 500 well. years old? I'm not 500 years old. How old are you? Did I say 250? You were like 220 something. You were, you were 200 years old? No. Yeah. No, uh, my bad. 120. 120. 120. Just a few you were 100 centuries years old? younger than me. Yeah. You were four generations of my people. That is incredible. Yeah. Maybe. you were apathetic. But coming back to the point, take Natalia out, kill okay. undead army. Okay, so yes on both, but no killing Natalia, please. There are many ways to get things done. And what if you said no perhaps all of them? Look, I we go from there. Honest, so, okay. If he says no to every way and we make it clear, look, if you say no, your life is in danger. You will not win the fight. There is no winning here. The only win is to take what we you can leave with and go and live new life. Or maybe we can convince him to become part of whatever Sophia is cooking up. Because then he keeps some power. If he wants power, we can give him some power. And he can keep his life. Power means nothing if you are dead. And even he must understand this. But what if he retaliates with his entire army? His entire army is... What army? I don't know about that last one. Sophia would... will not be okay with that. I will not be okay with that. With him living? No, no, no. With no. him, with being, him in being in some sense of, yeah. like, leadership and power. He has done nothing for this island. He has been deceitful. 
don't know for sure. I know that he said that he would give, I, he would make. What, 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 what. You passed by one of the, the bounty R boards. The R word is difficult. Hmm? You passed by one of the bounty boards. What do you guys say? are on there. No, no changes from previous, other than uh, you guys see your bounties. Does Ra have a bounty still? Ra doesn't have a bounty. Do you still think that he deserves power? I think that he doesn't deserve power. I think that this is way to keep him alive. I think that he made moves in order to begin to centralize his place, and he knows things. I think that killing him and casting him aside might be easy, but it might not be good. Sophia is intelligent. She might know things that he doesn't. She might know things he does. But unless they compare notes on what they're doing, I don't know if either of them could lead wholly alone. I think we can take him out of power. Sure. Send him away. Good. But I don't. Sylvie and Luigi's is dead or alive, and uh, yours is alive. That is problem, though. Love. This is not what it was. And what it's was it like? Those are, that's like identical to like your... These are like copies. So the ones the last time say that? Because that's not a detail I didn't, you mentioned. I did not mention that detail, but... But I, I asked what they looked like. I did, yeah. These are the same, though. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. You're a fucking you liar. You were just kind of like, ah, oh, dang. And I'm like, hey, you could ask any more details? And you're like, nope. I'm like, <laughs> all right. You're a liar. I asked what they look like. It's on the recording. You I don't have to record. Someone can be vindicated here. People have been wanted by people, and you're just kind of like, ah, oh, dang, we're wanted. And I'm like, you can ask who it's by, and you're just like, hmm. Like, ask who it's by. It's by. <laughs> 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 it dies. Of course it matters. Because like, if you're wanted by someone, the easiest way to make sure that no bounty hunters come after you is if you remove that person. Dead people can't pay you any money. So basically, it's like being wanted by a country kind of sucks, but if you want by a person, you can just kill that person. It's like a- I'm trying! That's my point! Maybe Sophia. Killing is back on the table? What? Maybe Killing Sophia. is back on the table? No. Maybe she won't be perfect for this island, but we know she doesn't have bounties on her heads at least. Yeah. As long as we kill someone on one board. Mm. She like thunks her head down on like on the nearest wall and draw says that. Yeah, alive. What do you think they want before alive? Because it's probably worse than death. We deal with him. I don't disagree. But there are many ways to peel apple. You don't just have to rip out quart of apple and then eat from inside. In my that time, we stupid. didn't peel the yeah. apples. We just ate them. In my time, we just didn't feel the apple. This is your time. You are in. You are in your time right now. This is also right. You're hungover. You should. <laughs> okay. Look. What is hangover? Maybe. I was about to pull the fucking plot of a dishonored assassination. Never mind. I was about to be like, maybe he has a suitor, and we can like drug him and give him to them, and that's literally Lady Boyle's assassination alternative. Yeah. That. That wouldn't work. Yeah, that wouldn't work, because he has to be willing, because if we just put him to sleep with a poison potion or whatever and get him off the island, he'll come back. Come right back. Wait, but um, if he comes back... We could just take him out. There will be people that could stop him before that. Here's a question. Do his guards even like him? I don't know. If they don't, we can just say, hey, we're going to someone that is better for island in power. And Why just help us remove him. Them? And then he will go on prison cell and he'll be out of place. Why what don't happens we just if they do him? like him? I, and then we learn that they like him and we walk away. I believe I'm saying this, but I agree. Hmm. We kill him. Not a bad idea to find out. Information does not mean you must act immediately upon the information. It just means you learn it and then you leave. We don't have time though, the undead army is coming, we, right? We are, we, we are missing so much information about everything. We don't know why the undead army was entombed. We don't know why all of this is happening. We don't know how quickly Sophia is going to get that army because... She points upwards to like I assume the moon is still in the sky. Like it's not like nighttime, but you know how you can see the moon during the day. Ah, you cannot see the moon during the day in my world because okay. the fact that the moon and the sun chase each other eternally. They are lovers that have been put aside from each other, and as such, they constantly try and find each other, but they are constantly on the opposite ends of the world. Samson that's threw that guy into the sky. Samson threw that woman into the sky. Ooh. Huh. Oh, that's fun, Lord. What about an eclipse? Is that like? Does that doesn't happen, happen. Here? But that doesn't happen here. That would be a that would be an event of them finally getting together. But oh. eclipses never happen. 
Oh, that's fun. Okay, so to point up to the sun and say, we have timer. She seems to be moving at snow's pace. We have no information aside from what she feeds us. We need knowledge. That is how you act upon things. Because all questions of how could we get rid of him can be solved if we know what he is like. We just know that he is traitorous. He has been talking. What is place that takes us again? Or us being Gamodian, Gamodian Empire, and that and that he came into power. We know nothing more. That is enough for us to kill him. I agree. I have been this is... on this island much longer than you. He is not great, and he is not redeemable. I don't then what think do you know great. that we don't? Sucks. I know he <laughs> he sucks. sucks. What is he like? What are his ambitions? Why did he want to do this? How does he suck for reasons we don't already know? He doesn't even want to be involved in politics. It's a family thing. So he's only here because of familial pressure? It sounds like we should go get him. Wait, okay. This is important. What do you mean he doesn't even want to be in politics? I'm sure he wants some sort of power. He's a power hungry politician that has come into power in a place that doesn't like law, that works outside of the bounds, and is expecting to make some sense of change. And it's not working. You know, he has ran us around and around with this undead army, and I'm tired of it. Have you considered sneaking into his office and finding more letters like the one you found? Because we could blackmail him out. Or just sneak into his office and fucking kill him. Killing Montezuma and blackmail. But it is not good. It's not good. I we could, will try not to. I could interrogate him as much as I wanted to, but in case you guys are curious, blackmail is also not the best. Like it's not like. Oh, it's not great. Yeah, it's not cookies. It's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> if blackmail. But if it is murder. murder. Yeah, I get it, but it's like this isn't like. This is also in like in terms of the gray. We're we're getting to still in the black a little bit, you know. There is no way that he's going to very peacefully leave this place. He's I think we should challenge him to kill him back. Four versus one. Could I? <laughs> She's going to walk over to Ra and just try to gently put her hand over his mouth. And just kind of go, no, no, stop. Please, stop. Please, you are not helping me. is the only character rather than that, like, to retaliate <laughs> again, so. She, and it's not like she's like, <laughs> it's literally just like, Please stop. You can remove her hand and she she would like it would it's that No, easy. Rob will try to continue talking. Yes. <laughs> Just lick Cho's hand. No, it's all <laughs> it's like a gauntlet of like fur and fucking Do I use it? No. Okay. I'm gonna have to have like paw pads, but fucking sure. Okay. Can can we go to Silver Stacks or yes. with this unresolved argument? I think that we should also get I Can think if you're starting there? a new thing, why don't we take a vote on how many people are down to kill him? I'm going to get that vote. And I think... We need to give him a democracy. chance, but we can if we're we have to kill him. <laughs> Look, if... By some power above me, Connor was irredeemable. If such judgment passes again, that is out of hands. Okay. But so then if soul wasn't redeemed. So not everybody is redeemed. Everyone makes choices. Mm-hmm. Everyone can choose to make better ones. Some people just need to make them when they are already from this life to next. That is all. He could still change in afterlife. He could be reborn and live again and try again. I hope he is a fucking worm in his afterlife. And I hope he is fed to a seagull. I wonder if his wife would still love him if he was a worm. Louis says them character. Yes. She'll, she'll like remove her hand out of confusion from your mouth and she's like, probably not. You smited who he was laying with. I still oh, need to pick it up. Connor or Talon? Connor. Oh. No, no, he's unlovable. No, do you know Never mind. This is conversation for later. Or, we're still walking somewhere, right? So where are you guys going? Yeah, where? I imagine we've been. Wa- are we walking the library? Are we walking uh, to. The library is a private collection. We have to steal the key from the tally yeah. when we kill him. So we're going to solve our stuff. I think it's possible to get in there, but it's like it's easier to do it after you remove the tally. It's like, all right, it's hard to do it now. You can like break in, but after you guys are in power, it's like this is just your library now, you know? Again. You can just ask me like, hey, can we go to see the library? And it's like, yeah, whatever. Okay. So is uh, 
Am I gonna get attacked if I try to go talk to any of the pirates? Because of what happened on the ship? Which pirate? Any of them. Uh, there were there were lots of pirates here. There are pirates you were walking past. Okay. So, so the incident that happened on the ship with Rut hasn't spread around town. Not many people. Oh, have. like m- maybe, but not everyone's part of Brenda's group. Fair enough. Okay. There are other pirates who are just like doing their own pirate things. Okay. That one's puking. They're just <laughs> they're, they're, they're pirating over there. Um. So, uh, you guys are going to the silver stacks. Yeah. Back to the silver stacks. You leave the hot island air of New Pinion and re-enter the silver stacks' arcane climate. The silver wisps flow through the air quickly now. The smell of ozone and eucalyptus are back in the air. You smell the faint acritic smells of potions being crafted. Burned steel and hewn stone are ambient on your tongues. The sound of arcana work and electric arcs uh, blitz you from odd angles. The workers here, mostly gnomus, are stained silver, gray, blue, and iridescent from their work. Welcome back to silver stacks. It's more frenzied now. Louder. Uh, I'm going to go try to find that dwarf. Yeah. You make your way to Yurm's Arms and Armor, ran by Rancor, a knuckle cap. Um, uh, you're back. Ah, uh, yes. Payday. Ah! Are we all looking for something? You go first. All right. Uh, refresh my memory. Uh, what, what are these fine armaments and armor that you have? I've got a variety of basic seeking and destruction uh, weapons. Uh, I've got the Vicious Mace, which you, I remember you had your eye on earlier. I've got the Duelist Rapier, which might look pretty on that one's hip. Uh, I've got the Mariner's Plate Mail, and then if you've got the cash for it as well, I've also got Comfortable Splint, in case you're doing something that you need to rest inside of. Uh, I've got Healthy Plate, and I've got uh, Jungle Sneak Leather. Healthy Plate. Uh, healthy plate. It's uh, it's magically enchanted to like uh, bolster yourselves a little bit more. Uh, for you guys, it's a plus one uh, health gain per hit die when expending a hit die. And on death saves, you add your constitution modifier. On a like twenty and up, you regain one HP. That's not bad. Mm. I think it's four fifty. It's a little bit more than we were previously discussing, but it is plate. Payday was good today. <laughs> Nice. Purchasing the plate? I would love to. Healthy plate or mirror plate? Uh, healthy plate, please. My man! Uh, <laughs> he goes and he takes, uh, you swap 450 gold pieces for mm-hmm. healthy plate mail. So that's plus one health gain per hit die when expending hit die. And on death saves, you got a translation modifier on 20 and up, you gain one HP. I can send you a picture of it. That would be great. A picture of it? I mean, a picture of my notes of it. Perfect. Because <laughs> I didn't, I'm not an artist. What's my AC now? Uh, your base AC will be eight. Uh, look up the player's handbook. It's plate. Oh, um, where he wants the link. Uh, I've also got, if you're interested in anything, I've got some jungle sneak leather, and I've got this uh, duelist rapier. Are you in the market? What's the pricing? The leather is 240 and the uh, the rapier is 300 <laughs> I can give you some money if you need one. Uh, for you to know, because I feel like you would explain this, but you would explain it in universe terms. Yeah. But like, we're also playing a game here, so like, this is what it is. Uh, the rapier adds uh, three points of damage of piercing damage if you and your enemy have nobody nearby them. So if it's like you're like dueling essentially, yeah. and then the uh, leather adds plus two stealth checks in jungle environments. Much worth trying to buy. So you'd have to, like as soon as like you like leave the city, unless you're like on Mount Kilter, you're in jungle. I've got a dagger of returning over here if you'd be interested in that. Dagger of returning? Yeah, uh, he takes a dagger and he goes and uh, he, there's like a target on the wall and boom, flicks it and then opens his hand and the dagger boom, comes back to it. How much? Uh, 275. You do 260? 
make place check. No! <laughs> What'd you get? Not one. <laughs> Sorry, but um. As it is, there seems to be a run on the market for arms and armors, as well as uh, health potions. <laughs> I was asking around. I don't think there's any left. Who's been making run on health potions? Uh, the, the, uh, well, partially it was like the Frank snoozers. They were uh, that uh, one of them was making something. I don't know exactly what. I mean, I do don't they really have to do this? this? No, this has been like a normal thing now, but like there's naturally a bit of like people like uh, making them and stuff. Yeah. And then it seems like people came through and just their remaining mounts, it's just gone. And all the Frank Schnoozers have been buying up last No, not just specifically. I've heard just one of them. I didn't know which one it was though. You have to ask around. Are they, are they a gang or is that the family name? It's a family name. Okay. Interesting. Wild. Well, Some gnomish. I, something so on the edge of the city. Okay. I'll take the dagger. Take a dagger. Take a dagger. 75. There you go. While everyone's doing that, can I do another in, um, inside check to see if I can see my swords? Because uh, they're still with them, right? No, they're, they're, no, they're, they're back at the hotel. No, if like she had her your swords on her, you would have seen that immediately. You would have went, "Those my swords." Like it. I wouldn't die though. <laughs> We could pretend that like I've yeah. had them on me this whole time. No, and, like, you don't no. have these swords. Okay, I was like, if you want. They're back in the yeah. hotel room. They are at the hotel, hotel. room. Okay. So what does the dagger do? Do uh, I like? Do I have to take any notes for the feet or anything? Uh, you know what I mean? The dagger is a dagger. It is a magical dagger. Yeah. Uh, it works as your normal dagger, but when you throw it, it is a free action to return it back to your hand. It's an ammo. You just, yep. But it counts as a magical dagger. Okay. Which can be helpful. So plus one. Uh, it is not plus one. Oh, no, this is just, it, it bypasses anything that's not. So yeah. there are some creatures that are resistant uh, or immune to non magical damage. Yeah. So your dagger is magical, you can uh, get to that immunity. 21 AC. That's awesome. Hmm? I can make that 22. 21 AC. Oh, yeah. And I can make it at uh, 24 with Shields of Faith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, are you in the market for anything? Do you have any shields? Uh, I have basic shields. Let me take a look. He goes through. Uh, if it's just basic. I've got a shield of returning. Oh, I don't practice Do you just have basic heavy armor and a shield? If you want basic armor, you can go elsewhere. I mostly enchant things. Oh, okay. That is my mistake. Do you plan to enchant the shield at any point? I could enchant this if you if you wanted to put in a... A, a request? A request, yeah. I can enchant things in a bit of time. Oh. It'll take time and it'll, you'll have to pay up front money cost, but it'll be for the half on. Uh, if you have enough to cover the uh, supplies it needs to build the shield, and, well, to craft the enchantment, and then half on completion. What, what kind of enchantments could you put on a shield? Are there any specific ones? Or uh, it depends on what you're going for. I uh, had a repelling uh, enchantment in your back. Mm -hmm. One where they would, uh, someone would come at you and you could knock them back. Somewhat popular. Uh, shields aren't terribly common. I haven't really invested much in them. Do you have something in mind? Um, I've done a few in the past, but... I suppose I'll have to come back. I haven't been to an enchanting service before. There are also some resistance of various like, uh, mm. whatnots, but those are... More expensive? Yeah. Yes. Talking more than thousands. Oh, no, but this is good to know. And if I bring in own equipment, could I leave it with you to get enchanted? Yeah. Oh, this is good to know. Bring, yeah. This is good to know. Okay. Um, then not for now, but... This is good to know. I will be using you. I will come back in the future. Okay. Are you in the market for anything? No. I have 55 gold. Ah. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Nods and continues. Uh, all the right. thing is, you probably could have bought something if I split all that money with you. Yeah, fair. Mm. Um, all right, so what are you guys doing? Um, I want to go back to, uh, what's her name? The gnome. 
the uh, uh, obviously gay gnome. Which one? <laughs> uh, fall my floppily. Is that the one you guys smoked with? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the yeah. wonderful yeah. whimsies. Yeah. Smokings. Yeah. All right, you guys go back to wonderful whimsies. <laughs> wonderful yes. whimsies. Uh, as you guys are walking through uh, oh, these silver stacks, you're job. not getting assaulted. Uh, Can I do a perception check? Go for it. Are you sure we're not getting assaulted? 21. 21. Mm. That was good. good. You're pretty confident. No one's watching you. You're just walking the street. No one's going after you. I think you're doing really good. No, but nobody is watching us, sir. Because we have a like, bounty. People are aware of seeing you and stuff, but there doesn't seem to be anybody doing anything about it. No one's right. You have a bounty, but it also, like, you check the bounty boards pretty often because you're a bounty hunter. Now, like, other bounty hunters do that as well. But, um, mm. like a layperson, like if I'm just like a part of a pirate crew and it's like, hey man, this dangerous bounty hunter and this, um, like warrior, a holy warrior and this prophet are wanted, it's like, dang, that'd be a payday for whoever gets them. And then I'm going to continue on my way because I can't take that. Um, Is especially when they put up like that, it's like, oh, they want all three of them. I'm one person. I'm not going to do that. You know? Sounds like a opening for a joke. A prophet and a holy warrior and a bounty hunter walk into a bar. With Ra. No. <laughs> Ancient no. creature, Ra. I You're just the they say, line. Ra, why did you hit us with a bar? <laughs> um, <laughs> Ra starts a bar fight, and mm. Luigi is somewhat pumped about it. <laughs> so uh, you guys go over to Wonderful Whimsies? Yes. Hey, I gotta, uh, you walk in, there seems to be, um, like another, like, gnome in there that's present as well. Hello there. Hello. Yeah. Uh, we can catch up later. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, it's like, have a good one. Uh, this one, they seem to be like they were just chatting. Mm-hmm. What is that? Oh, uh, that was dingus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so quick question because the name, <laughs> funny name reminded me. Do you know our friend was like a, a you knowledge like a second one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was, that, was he part of that? Or no? Uh, he might be one of the. The Frank Snoozer is kind of like allowed a couple of people to like come in there. It's kind of fun. Oh, okay. I'm not a Frank Snoozer, but you know. It's a pinker snatch. Oh, do you like talk plans or like. The way you phrase that Sometimes. Just... Oh, okay. That's a curiosity, because I am still curious about all the health potion stuff. Where are all the Frankenstools in this? The Frankenstein? Yeah. Oh, uh, Gollybop uh, oh, was buying Bob. up I them. love, I love the name. And uh, she was building something with them. Oh, okay. Do you I know what they're anymore. building? Um, Do you hear anything lately? Nope. You can ask around, though. She was... Do you know anyone else who sells health potions, she was buying up... Do you know if, if they are collecting all the health potions for a weapon? For a weapon? Maybe. Yeah. Are no mission probably one of her passion projects. Are, 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 does she do a lot of passion projects? We all do passion projects. Well, you know, everybody's got like a passion, but like, does she like make a lot of things like this? Like, does she? She's not like a merchant. Yeah. I think she does more like specialized work. She's like, she I, sells, I heard that she had like, she went to like Hexgile. So like, she's like, an enchanter. Yeah, Has she ever she's... made dangerous stuff? Yeah? Why? Just wondering. So, out of curiosity, I actually don't want to talk to her because I'm so curious what someone is doing with health potions. Yes, you better sleep I, I, I assume. I right. Do you know what she is? Is she open to that kind of thing? Or does she yeah, not sharing. like Do you want to check her? <laughs> she probably likes somebody checked on her. No. She seemed kind of down. No. Yeah. Oh, what is she? Is she's she's on the edge of town. Oh, is, she, is there oh, like nice. a, a shop that says <laughs> like this? Is... Sleep. It's not a shop. Oh, it's just. She just lives up at the edge of town. Oh, okay. It's like on like the northwestern side. You got to look for. Last I heard of it, you'll be able to find the house. It's kind of like sunken in a little bit, and there's a hole in the wall. Oh, okay. So ready to stay. It's like a big old hole. Okay. And she, I don't know if she fixed it. Gollybop. Gollybop. I'm taking Gollybop, French snoozer. Putting that on my notes because that's a fun fucking name. Gollybop, yeah. I think we should go talk to Gollybop. Where did we find her? Gollybop? Gollybop. 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 
Dollywood. Dollywood. So where Dollywood. would we find we should go to Dollywood. Dollywood? Yes. No, she's uh, on the outskirts of town. You gotta find her house. She's like a northwestern, yeah, northeastern part. That's actually my uh, She's got a hole in a wall. Wait, can you repeat I that? I can see the resemblance. Yeah. Yeah, it's Green all right. Skin, Sometimes they're not quite loud enough. Hair, totally. So matches. It's uh, the northeastern part of town. You just uh, you find her, but she's got like a hole in the wall. The roof's kind of sunken in a little bit. All right. Yeah. And can we say that you sent us their, uh, her way so she knows sure. who we are? All right. Yeah, we should go meet Bobby. I think that's a good thing. This is a new thing. I hope that she's not off the set. I don't want her to go going through the bleaching. Oh, I've heard of this. When you get too emotionally drained, you. When uh, we don't get enough uh, good uh, good thinking, enough stimulus, we uh, start to bleach, and then we get old and we die. We we can. Does she have a favorite tea or a gift that she likes to? Uh... She's a pet rock. Oh, that's fun. Okay. We have a blur. Maybe she will like more. What's a blork? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where'd you get that? He's, a, he's not. Okay, but where'd you get him? He's an orphan. Adopted him on the streets. Alright. Why do you, do you have any animal treats here? Animals? I think I may have something in the back, but I don't like sell animal treats. Would you be willing to give them my way? You're not going to sell them, they're not. Just, just like pieces of meat and cheese and stuff. It's just the, the things that I eat. They're not animal foods? I mean, we're animals. <laughs> Why? Do you happen to know what it is? Because you seem to recognize. Oh, how'd you find it here? Yeah, it's, um, it's uh, what's it called? One of those uh, skitterlings. Do you know how to best care for one, or uh, what they tend to like? I mean, I know that there are some people, uh, where is it? No, are you looking for your notes? Yeah, I got some more in my notes. Oh, okay. But I didn't put under a name that I could find. Uh, yep. It just, it just looked like, uh, like one of those, uh, things that the scummers have. The scummers? Yeah, the scummers. Put that away. It's, a, it's like a family of like the uh, like, um, goblins in the city. Yeah, lots oh, of family. They, they are known for uh, green skitterlings? No, oh, they're, they're just goblins that got skitterlings, dude. Oh, okay. It's not what Lark is. Um, so, okay. Do you know what's going on? It's skitterling. It's skitterling. Okay. Do you know if there is a skitterling catapult? We just found it on the street, so we're trying to figure out the You'd have to go ask one of the scummers. Okay. Maybe one of theirs. Oh. So what if hypothetically we can't ask? Whoa. I mean, I, I, why? <laughs> hypothetically. He's uh, totally racist against goblins. Dude, that's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> he is the one. Don't do that. Get over it. Dude, that's cringe. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's um. A lot of the, <laughs> a lot of the goblins were allied with the orcs in the wars. Where it's something I'm trying to get over, but is what this I was is trying to goblins, do. Dude. I know, I know, and I know that's because I'm trying to get over. Aren't you also a minority? Yeah. All right. This is like, it. what's wrong with you? It's okay. I will take him out once I have the chance. Okay. What All right. Your daily right life's right wrong. Now. I don't need to. I don't know if that's gonna fix his racism. What is happening? I'm trying to be better. <laughs> All right. Wrong. No. Okay, so, so like hypothetically, if we couldn't ask, then what, what do you what, what do you want? Who would be the next best person to ask about? I don't want to deal with animals. Well, that's fair. I just thought experimentation. Yeah. You might know because you're so smart, and I know yeah. you hear everything. Well, that's oh, actually the scammers that... thing. They 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 they. they... They kind of have like ears out. And stuff. The scummers, uh, you know, like Mootville? They're information guild? I don't know who that is. They're okay. like information guild? I think we should go to Golly Bar. Yeah, I guess, yeah. They've gotten everything. They're, they're, like, they're, like, they're like natives here. Like, they're like, uh, oh. like, I, I'm, like, I'm, like, like I'm like a native, native, but like, I live here. So, like, like, a bunch of pirates come and go, that's fine, but, but like, I live here year round. So. I appreciate the fact that you are so open to questions. It is wonderful. Yeah, it's a good part of my day. Sometimes customers like kind of suck. So, oh. yeah. have you had one of those recently? Oh, uh, yeah, the other day. I don't know, what happened? <laughs> Step back. 
Okay. You step back, she pushes the button, there's like a springboard trap that was boom! Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's good! Out of the, yeah, it's great. Oh my god. And yeah, then yeah. I gotta ratchet that back. <laughs> ratchet the back. Rightfully so. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's I my shop, that. you know, I got treat customers all I like. Um, Wait, I gotta head out to Sarah's ear, but right. we can... Um, with that, I'm gonna see, do you guys conclude the day? Uh, the maybe we're going to go Bop, see though. Golly Bop. Yeah. yeah maybe we're going to see yeah. Golly Bop. I want to see Bop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I want right. to see Bop. Um, we can, if we want, then we will get to that yeah. next session because you've got to go, and Golly Bop has like a twenty-page handout. Oh. So, okay. That's what I was asking you guys about. You guys were going to investigate this further. If I can get some time to do this, yes, she's got a big old handout that I got to revise. Yes, sir. Yep. Cool. All right, cool. That's Does Blork know out. anything yet? Blork? Can I, what is our, are we bonded yet? We did. Blork's been in your pack, you haven't racked him, dude. You just got in there. I've been racking him the whole time. But you, you only you got like 18, uh, 18 hours. So I sure. gave him food. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta actively interact with him. I am actively interacting with him. I think he's so like, like. It's okay, we'll know more about Blork than I feel like I do when we go talk to the volleyball. He's pooped, but he hasn't been putting his skill up. We should maybe definitely he's pass. Maybe he'll turn it. into a dragon. That's what I was gonna say. Maybe like, he'll turn into Jade. Jade? A return? Not end. Get Jade here. <laughs> we can talk about this. Lork X Jade. <laughs> like no? he's got to evolve into something. I feel like. I love no? it. We're not Aoife. <laughs> does does Lork <laughs> pass the Harkness <laughs> test? <laughs> <laughs> or like, uh, probably not. I'm no. too oh, so straight to know what that is. Right. It's basically a test to see, like, is something sapient enough to be fucked? <laughs> so the answer is yes, I'm too straight to know what that is. That's yeah. not even a straight thing, that's just an internet thing. Yeah. I, I unfortunately didn't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, well, that. now you know. So, I, I do you have an watched Doctor Who for a while, so uh, I didn't know what that is. Alright. Alright. See you guys next week. See you. Yeah.